So I'll be showing you the settings I'm using here. Everything's maxed out on the quality preset level all the way up to the right. DLSS will be on quality. That's how I use DLSS on 4K. I know they recommend using performance mode, but I play at 60 Hertz, so 60 FPS doesn't really matter to me. So I've been looking at these videos back to back, seeing if I see any differences and quality wise, like, like the level of sharpness and stuff seems about the same uh, between the two, 2.3 and 2.4. The only differences I see is maybe frame rates two to three FPS off. Uh, the video memory is strangely higher on 2.4 and the RAM. If anybody else is having that issue, you leave a comment down below and see if it's happening to you, if you're doing some tests. Also, to why? Yeah. So in this part of the benchmark, I was really excited to test this part because I really wanted to see if the ghost trailing of DLSS went away or goes away in Red Dead. Unfortunately, it doesn't. And I'll show you here with the LSS 2.4, the latest one, you'll see it's pretty bad. Mostly in dark scenes, like nighttime scenes and stuff, still distracting to me. You can also see them on the light post here as it's panning in this scene. Yeah, so still getting that same, you can see the frame rate. It's just slightly off, oh, like a frame or two. Uh, that's the biggest difference in terms of frame rate anyways, scene by scene. Also, a problem a problem that I have with DLSS is I don't like how like the horse's hair and the fur look. It's like uh, you can tell it's you could tell it's at a lower resolution, and DLSS is trying to upscale that to your native res, and it doesn't look really good in Red Dead at all. This is really reason uh, one of the reasons why. I don't use DLSS, I stick with TAA. TAA works really well at 4K. Anything lower than 4K, I feel like TAA doesn't have enough information, you know, to construct, reconstruct the, the image frame by frame, uh, like it has in 4K. So it's a much cleaner image, nicer to look at too. If you agree with me on that, you can leave a like on this video. Thank you or if you're enjoying this video so far i'm gonna shut up now and just let this benchmark finish and i'll be back to you with my conclusion Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this comparison video of these two. It seems like there's not much of a difference. Frame rates, you, who really cares? Uh, it's like one or two off. The differences between the maximum frame rates was off, was odd. I did multiple tests and it's the same thing most of the times. It could have been a fluke. I don't know, something running in the background, but I double checked out of that stuff. Before I started these benchmarks, hi video. RAM usage and the RAM usage was strange, but other than that, not much of a difference. You can check out more of my content right here, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.